Jing Ji of China, ranked number 17 in the world, has completely turned things around. Now we stand at a set apiece. Serena number one. Good luck, team. I was unimpressed with that last game from Serena Williams, not showing the kind of competitive spirit that we're used to seeing. Oh. Frustration clearly got the better of her. Basically gave that game away, which clinched the set for Zhang Ji. Hello, Poor start. in deep trouble to open this third set. Zheng Zhi has done a great job of working her way into this match and being tenacious, as you pointed out, really improving her service game and finding some rhythm and putting pressure on Serena Williams. 15, 14. Taking that second serve early, being aggressive. Oh, what an excellent return to set up that break opportunity. And Jing Ji takes full advantage as we revisit Karina's keys. A lot of looks at the second serve. But for Serena, not bad. Wasn't she at 60% first serve numbers? So all the more reason or example why Zheng is doing such a great job returning. Yeah, you're right which Serena right now is not. Another return dumped into the net. 30. Yet another. I mean, right now, mentally completely absent the last three games. This is all still up to Serena, though, isn't it? Absolutely. She's the number one player in the world. I mean, she... The match is in her hands. To win or to lose. Exact, that was exactly my point. What happens here is up to her, both good and bad. Yep. Where she's fought extremely hard. She's done the opposite of what Serena's done the last three games. I mean, Zhang Zhi, no matter what the score, no matter what her performance, she's hung in there. Even when she was down 5-love in that first set, she came back, fought hard. She wasn't playing her best tennis the first five games of the match. Serena hurt. I mean, she didn't even move for that ball. I don't know if her knee's bothering her. She just doesn't seem to be moving like she usually does. I don't see her not try for balls. Well, the trainer has not been called out. There's been no report from courtside that anything is physically wrong with the number one player in the world. She threw in a double fault and now is uh, in dire straits. No, this is not the Serena that we're used to seeing, so I'm just questioning if there's something else going on that we're not aware of. 15, 13. Now, if you're Zhang Ji, you have to realize how much trouble Williams <laughs> is in and just not give away free points but like that's that. That's a tough task psychologically right now for Zhang Ji.
Ouais, c'est planté. Huge first serve from Serena Williams. Back to Deuce, and Serena was maybe Deuce. one point away from losing this match. Consistency on that last point from Serena. And again, Zhang Ji making her hit a lot of balls. That return, getting that first serve return back in play. And yeah. Serena does get off the mat and manage to hold. And I said that I thought the match might be over with one more point from Zhang Ji. Serena has been carrying herself so negatively. If she was broken again there, I thought it was over. On Tennis Channel, Paul Sunderland back with Karina Marariu. And as strange as it sounds, Zheng Ji was a point or two away of taking complete control of this third and decisive set against the world's number one, Serena Williams. Zhang Ji had 15.40, two break points in that last game on Serena's serve. Serena came up with a couple huge first serves to claw her way back into this third set. Second serve had absolutely nothing on it at all. 70 miles per hour. I think at this point Serena's got to hope that Zhang Ji's starting to think about winning this match. Get a little tight. Start slowing down that second serve. So Serena's going to have some opportunities to take advantage of that. Stare over the baseline for Zheng Ji, and now she points, as you mentioned in the previous game. Serena saved those.